And while we're up here today, I'm gonna make some cowboy coffee. Been a while. Been waiting all summer for my cowboy coffee, just hadn't had any. So a nice rainy day, nice day for coffee. I love that. Right there, cowboy coffee. All right, guys, here's a pro tip for you if you have a cabin. You know, I don't have heat in here every day. So since I don't have heat every day, went to the Dollar Tree. Should be the Dollar 25 tree. But anyway, I bought a little salt and pepper shaker with a solid lid. Dollar 25. Reason I got this little guy is because of this right here. Matches. Matches are a man's best friend when you have a cabin. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to load up uh, some of my matches in this little jar. Now my idea to get the matches, or my wife's idea to get the little jar, she goes, you put those matches up there, they're going to get damp. I go, yep, they are. I said, I have a big jar. I can put them in a big jar, keep them dry. She goes, yeah, that's great. But what happens when you need a match? And uh, you need to fumble bumble around getting a match. I said, well, that could be a problem. So with that being said, look at here. End of problem right there. So what I did, jar full of matches. So I keep them up here by these cigars. I don't know who those cigars belong to. I mean, who'd have a jar of cigars? Smart guy though. Got them in a sealed container. Mice can't get them. Air can't get them. The guy's a freaking genius. That's all I got to say. So kudos to him, whoever he is, who would smoke cigars. Uh, matches. New spot for those. These guys, I'm going to put them in a jar. Like one of these fellas. We'll get them in, seal them up, keep them high and dry. I don't know if you guys notice or not, but this Bailey's here. It's a Bailey's Sensational Smooth Pleasure Share Indulge. Well, I do share, but I only share them with blue because these are his milk bones. Again, high and dry. Sealed container. So, cabin guys, you need sealed containers. That way, your food, your matches, your combustibles, expendables, whatever, you can save them. Pro tip, free, Cabin Time Oregon. Thank you very much. Morning. I have a dilemma. When it gets too cold, your uh, oil freezes. This is full of oil. Voila. Solid ice. I went to take the top off. I'm going to fill it up. And by God, lo and behold, it's still wet. It'd probably work for a little while, I would imagine. But I couldn't believe it. It's frozen. Never happened before. Now, we've been getting in the 20s. In the uh, low to middle 20s. Not super, super cold, but it's cold enough. 
that we uh, were having problems. Who would have thought Oregon, of all places, would have a problem? <clears throat> now let me get a rag because I know how I am. Or my wife would say, you're messy. Boy, she got that right. I'm a messy guy. I'm always making messes. I think that's my middle name. Gregory Messy Kendall. So I want to just put a little more lamp oil in here. <clears throat> Fill this dude up. Because I went down to Buy Mart. And I bought me some new stuff here. And funny, this jug's been up here for a week. And it's not frozen. Really don't want to over pour this. It's just going to make a big ugly mess. And you know if you listen, it ain't getting up there. If you listen, you can hear it. And that's as far as I want to go. That is good enough. Now, how in the Sam Hill do I get this guy back on? Well, the trick is line it up to your slot in the back and you crank down on the old wick and it'll start coming back up. And it is. She's a coming. But the problem is, when I untwisted it, it twisted the wick all up. So if I do that going in, I don't want to twist it all up again. So I think I'm just going to let it sit and we're going to saw out. Oh, and by the way, this is my new lamp. I don't know if I showed you guys that or not. This is the chimney it came with. Seems to work already. I tried it and it works really well. I don't know if I showed you that or not. I'm kind of one of those redundant guys. Over and over we go, but check that out, dude. I mean, that is freaking ice. So, I don't know. Maybe I should not. Maybe I should have put the new oil in. Maybe there's moisture or water in there. I'll get back to you. I think I'm getting a phone call. Yikes. Two of my lamps are running there today. If you look in the window, on the other side, I got more running. Let's go take a look. Yeah, this is the bunkhouse. I don't know if I showed you my new kettle that I got. Man, I just love that thing. It's a porcelain white with black trim. Sold, got it at a garage sale, right here in town, local. You hear that rain on the roof today, folks? It's raining. And man, oh man, my cabin, knock on wood, it is dry as a bone in here. Still got one window to put in yet. Won't be today. But man, I'm liking my lamps. Got two in here, two on the other side, and I got one that's full of the junk gas that I took out of all of them. Well, I'll tell you what, you put new gas in them, they really burn pretty and brighter. I just, I've noticed that gas, I don't know how old it was, but let me just tell you, it was too old to be in there. So I'm going to use that for fire starter, for probably not the wood stove, maybe the campfire out here. In the meantime, I got new new gas and by god we should be able to have these things up and running once in a while now that'll be handy there's my pretty blue dog he's up at the cabin we seen something fly by didn't you bud i don't know if we got to fly in here or we woke up another bee every once in a while we get a yellow jacket flying around in here and we have to dispatch him that's a polite word dispatch that bee me and Blue don't like bees in the cabin. Big no-no, right, Pop? Big no-no. Sure got a crow outside of crowing. He's making a lot of noise. Well, this video has been probably a week's worth of at the cabin. I've been coming up here every other day. Trying to get a little content in for you guys, showing you what it's like, cabin life. You know, I work a little, play a little, work a little, play a little. That's what cabin life's all about. 
Now the cabin's getting pretty well there. Blue up here on the other hand, he's uh, he's kind of wanting to go to the house again. He's had enough for the day. And I thought, well, let me put this thing together and see if I got enough video to, to show you guys what's been going on. But, uh, you know what, the rain sounds awful pretty up here. That tin roof, drip, drip, drip she goes because I'm underneath a big oak tree. So, yeah, be a good nighttime sleep up here. I unfortunately have had a cold for the last three, four, or five days, and I think I'm starting to get over it finally. Don't know if I'm going to get to come up or not, but I was really trying to get at least a night up here. So the week ain't over. It's still early in the week. Today's only Tuesday. We'll see how that goes. Maybe I can steal away one night. I feel up and up here good enough to go, and I may just make a run for it. Have plenty of firewood, getting, collect, been collecting firewood here, so kind of got enough wood to kind of burn through the night. Got some good uh, cherry wood. It's dry. Burns a long time. I think I can stoke up the old wood stove and keep her cranking for the night. Me and Blue, I don't know how well he's going to do. He's never spent a night at the cabin. Could be a test for both of us. So anyway, guys, thanks for being here. Glad to have you along. Hope you enjoy the video. If I put this one out, I don't know. We'll see what I got, okay? You might see it. I may add a few more days to it. We'll see what comes, okay? Adios, guys. And remember, live your life carefully, would you?